Motorcycle fans, you've come to the right place for some incredibly quick, rapid action. We're going to show you 10 of the quickest bikes on the West Coast. It is the Western Pro Extreme Motorcyclist Association started by Tony Ruggiero and his partner Charlie. Anything goes, unlimited. We're gonna see Hayabusa's, Nitro Harleys, KZ's, Turbo, Nitro Methane. The idea is to give the West Coast racers a place to play, and it has been exciting. We're gonna show you 10 of the best, and we're gonna start things off with a Nitro Harley. This one belongs to Scott Oakley. I mentioned Tony Ruggiero. There he is in the black leathers. He actually built this motorcycle for the gentleman you see there, Greg Justice. Justice sold it to the new rider, Scott Oakley, who has done a great job. He's only got about 10 passes under his belt, but is really taken to this machine. Let's give you some info about the bike. It's a 134 inch high gear only injected bike. They call it a nitro funny bike. And it is impressive. Let's watch. Scott Oakley is out here living a dream. This motorcycle's been a best 731 at 188 miles an hour with Greg on it. Scott Oakley quickly encroaching upon that performance. Tony helping to be the liaison, helping to coach his rider. He said that he can tell that Scott Oakley definitely has the aptitude and the physical and mental ability to succeed in this sport. This is one of 10 motorcycles coming to you guys. Stay with us. Seven ninety one one seventy. Good run for Scott Oakley, guys. He's a newcomer. That's one of his first full passes. Congratulations to Scott Oakley. Just bought the bike last November. Got licensed in December. Began the license process in December. I think he's finishing up the license process now. If you're just joining us here on Cycle Drag on YouTube or CycleDrag.com on Facebook, welcome to Fontana, California. This is Auto Club Speedway, and we're going to bring you 14 of the quickest motorcycles on the West Coast. Remember, due to Due to the drag bike population density, we're spread out here on the West Coast, so it's harder for them to pull the big races together, but this is a good one. Anytime you get 14 quality fast bikes in one spot, it's a good event. So let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. We got another one coming up. import fans will know that's not a nitro harley that is a nitrous gs this man comes all the way from denver colorado a former ama pro star and ama drag bike pro mod racer this is dustin chance's beautiful nitrous gs machine and that is what is cool about this race is you will see so much diversity all different combinations are legal and I know in some of our previous videos, we've already got the, the Harley, the import rivalry going. We love all motorcycles here on CycleDrag.com, but it is so Astro cool. Astro Mod style bike, up next. When you can line up a V-Twin and an old school GS and an old school KZ or a new Hayabusa, let's see who has the upper hand. Let us know in the comments, who do you think has the upper hand out here on the West Coast? Let's listen. Seven thirty-six, one hundred and seventy-nine miles an hour for the Suzuki. So so far, Suzuki, the leader of the pack here in California. I want to know in the comments, what do you like better, Nitro Harleys or Pro Mod Suzukis? We got more coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Again, hope you're enjoying this. All the coverage on Cycle Drag on YouTube and CycleDrag.com on Facebook. We're gonna go long. I know you guys like the longer videos. We're gonna bring you this entire session. 
And, and a quick note to you guys on the East Coast. Look, I'm a world traveler. I love drag racing everywhere. I'm an East Coast guy. But Steve Rice... Steve Rice snuck in there. I'm sorry, I didn't even see. Steve Rice snuck past me and did a burnout. Here he is. This is a motorcycle drag racing legend. The great Steve Rice. I just wanted to make it clear that a lot of the numbers you see out here are skewed because the tracks aren't as good, the conditions aren't as good. He said, look, we respect what those East Coast guys do, but when I go to the East Coast, we're right there with them. And Steve makes a valid point because he's a 1992 champion and an eight-time champion overall. This bike he's on now is a funny bike with top fuel technology built by the late, great Bill Hahn Sr. This is when Funny Bike was meant to be a stepping stone into Top Field problems. Clutch issues. Bike is owned by Thank John you. Morgan, a great supporter of drag bike racing. But this bike's very unique. It's got a Puma bottom end, the same kind of bottom end as Larry McBride. A Vortex head. It's very similar to a Top Fuel motor. It's not supercharged. It's a turbo alcohol 1800cc combination that they want to get back on. Steve Rice shuts it off 899. As you can tell, still working the bugs out of that machine. Steve Rice is a motorcycle drag racing legend. Won an AMA Pro Star Championship. Multi-time event winner. Out here, out of retirement, having some fun. This is one of Steve's old bikes. Yes, yeah, speaking of Steve Rice, how many of you know that this is the motorcycle Steve Rice won the 1990 Top Fuel Championship on in AMA Pro Star. 1992, I'm this sorry. Is Turbo Kawasaki. Steve calls this a Kawasaki J model. Steve worked at Kawasaki for a long time, and he said he built this bike out of all the parts that they would throw away. He said good police bike parts would come in that they wouldn't have a need for, and as a drag racer, Steve salivated and said, yes, I'll take those parts. Reminds me of the stories where you hear legends like Big Daddy Don Garlitz going to the junkyard to find drag racing parts. Ooh. Problem out Problem. there for this machine. This is a mechanical well, fuel injection. Well, unfortunately, guys, this is the way it goes, especially with some of these older style machines. Now that it's quiet, I'll tell you again, this is the 1990 Two. championship winning KZ of Steve Rice still out here. It's a motorcycle that has been in the sixes, but they're having some issues with it right now. Unfortunately, it looks like they may get another go at it. Not sure what happened. Some of you may know better than me in the comments. Let me know. What do you think is wrong with this motorcycle? Let's see, is he going to give him another shot or is he done? I think they're being gracious. They're going to give him another shot. Do we have any Kawasaki KZ fans? If you love Kawasaki KZs or owned a KZ, give me a comment and tell me what your bike was like, which year, and what you did to it. I know we got some Kawasaki KZ fanatics. J model head, 1260 cc's, Ray J Turbo. Listen to that tire grip. Oh. Unfortunately, problems. That did not sound good. That could have been expensive. And this is typical for the first race of the All year. All right, so a tough go at it, guys. This, uh, you know, is the first big event of the year for these West Coast bikes. We'll see if anybody can get into the six-second zone. We're out here at Auto Club Dragway, Fontana, California. Hope you're enjoying some extended coverage on cycle drag on youtube please subscribe if you're not subscribed and also cycledrag.com on facebook please like if you haven't already so you never miss a video we're bringing you the entire round 14 motorcycles entered this weekend this is the after hours west coast motorcycle racing association talk to a lot of these individuals some of them will be heading east for the big man cup finals excited for that coming up in november and check out what we have coming up now. It is a turbo Hayabusa. This is all the rage. This is a new trend that is really coming on strong. 
You know, for the past 10 years, all the turbo technology has been in the pro street class, the no wheelie bar bikes. But take a look, the bar bikes are coming back. The sport is gravitating towards the wheelie bar Hayabusa. It's a new trend. Steve Killingstead, up now. This is a fuel tech Koenig chassis machine. Drag racing legend Nigel Patrick provided a lot of help. This motorcycle was a KZ chassis. KZ chassis that they converted over to Hayabusa. Alongside the aforementioned Greg Justice coming up on his O'Hara chassis, 150 cubic inch high gear only Nitro Harley, AKA Nitro Funny Bike. A lot of guys out there prefer high gear only. In the top fuel ranks, it's really only Bobby Malloy and Jason Pridemore. That's what separates the Nitro Funny Bike from the top fuel Harley, that and some displacement. But this bike has a lot of upgrades from Justice's previous Harley. 14 inch tire, 94 inch wheelbase, built to today's standards. Good old fashioned Busa Harley match. Oh, who you got? V Twin fans, Hayabusa fans, who you got? Oh, problems, problems. 777 to an 892. Big roar for the crew. They're happy with that one. That could be a personal best. But the problem you. You can stay. The problems continue here, unfortunately. All right, Vince Testa coming up. Vince Testa, check this out, guys. He went all the way from California to Dragway 42 in Ohio last year, went to the finals at the Man Cup race. That's a video that we just posted on Cycle Drag from last July in honor of Vince being here. Vince is a West Coast racer, but often travels to the East Coast. This is a fast motorcycle. It's been deep in the sixes. We'll see if he can be the first to reach the six second zone. Arizona. It's a Hayabusa with electronic fuel injection, fuel te technology. It's a four speed. If you think it sounds like a pro street bike, you are correct. It's a lot like a no wheelie bar pro street bike. That's what we're seeing. There's a lot of that technology has been in that category for the past 15 years starting to come back over to the wheelie bar bikes. Just talked to chassis manufacturer Dave Earl, Track Dynamics. He's been in the sport a long time. He believes the next 10 years you're going to see the rise of the wheelie bar bike coming back. Motorcycle drag racing is very cyclical. It, it started way back when with a bunch of no-bar Harleys. And then as the great Bruce Sauer told me, if you didn't have a wheelie bar on your bike in the 80s, you had a pit bike. Well, then the late 90s and the 2000s dominated by no bar bikes. All right, looking for a six second pass. Now we're Will seeing we see wheelie bar bikes coming back. Vince is alongside Craig Brown, his teammate. That is a carbon copy of Vince's bike. Craig has been a 679, one of the fastest guys out here. Uh oh. There it is, finally, a six on the board. 682 for Vincent, 195 miles an hour. 682. 682, that is low elapsed time of the meet thus far. Will it be beat, yes or no? I wanna see in the comments, will it be beat? Let's now. That brings up the event promoter, Tony Ruggiero and this mean blue machine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 175 inch Nitro Harley with an overkill motor. That the technology that the late great Jim McClure and Schumacher brought to the category. The overkill motor revolutionized Nitro Harley racing. It featured the one piece crank. This bike has been a best, 681 at 203 miles an hour. It is a 2009 build with an O'Hara chassis company out of Canada. Tony, a second generation racer, 
His father's been racing for 43 years. Ran with the AHDRA forever. Started running up in Epping, New Hampshire. And like so many, he said, you know what? I'm sick of shovel shoveling snow. <laughs> Moved his family out here to the West Coast. Tony's got the drag racing bug just like that. There goes that Nitro Harley, the CP Carrillo backed machine. How quick can Tony go? Oh! 789, 159, checkout pass for Tony Ruggiero. I think he may have damaged a crank on that pass, 789. Will we do better than that this session? Here from Auto Club Dragway. Another awesome turbo bike coming up. Check it out. Against the Nitro Harley with Tony Ruggiero. This is Mark Chisholm, all the way from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Of course, this bike solo, I'm not sure. He'll be competing against Tony as far as time goes. Looks like this will be a solo shot, I believe. Where's my KZ fans? This is a KZ 1000, punched out the 1325 with a Garrett Turbo. This man built it all himself. He's a true craftsman. It's a beautiful bike. But you want to talk about logging some miles. East Coast racers, we're spoiled. We've got so many racers. There's the old school turbo, Kawasaki. Another KZ motor, check it out. Where's my Kawasaki fans, old school? That's an iconic, legendary motor that lives on in these drag bikes. Old school Kawi making power. No such luck. 1077, and I believe now we turn our attention to, oh, unfortunately, Tony Ruggiero is not able to make a pass. This was earlier. And it looks Tony like this has unfortunately been a gremlin-plagued session. Session number two for these individuals. Again, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the, the first big event of the year for them. They will be back. I hope you like it. Subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube, like CycleDrag.com on Facebook, and let me know what was your favorite motorcycle there? What was your favorite motorcycle out of all the bikes we saw? Which one was your favorite? It was a wonderful event. I hope you guys can enjoy us uh, and join us. The, again, this is the Western Pro Extreme Motorcycle Association. They run five events a year. We'll be back at Fontana November 2nd through the 3rd. Hats off to Tony again for giving these West Coast racers a place to play. Many of them hoping to make it back east for the big Man Cup Finals. That's in South Georgia Motorsports Park November 21st through the 24th. Had an unfortunate incident out here, as you'll see. Mark Avia crashed his ZRX. I was alongside him. That's a video you can see right now on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. Good thing is Mark was okay. We'll show you that pass here in just a second. But thank goodness he had on all of his safety gear. And the crew did a great job, as always. There is the CycleDrag.com. Hayabusa, I'm out having some fun on a stock wheelbase bike. Got to see some old friends. Kenny O, the cooking pro. Haven't seen him since the Pro Star days. There's Steve Rice and John Morgan. Thank you, John Morgan, for all the support you give this great sport. Let's show you now. If you have not seen this accident... This was the ZRX that had crashed. We now know it was a broken oil pan. There's an entire 12-minute video on what went wrong and a discussion about the need for oil blankets up on this channel. Check it out. That's me in the other lane. Trim Tech, Cycle Drag, Brock's Performance, Hayabusa, running a Kawasaki ZRX. We'll show you this. Good thing is Mark's okay, but this was a scary one for all involved. Keep an eye on that Kawasaki. <laughs> Spinning in his oil. Spin down. Unfortunately, two dislocated shoulders and a trip to the hospital. But the good news is Mark will be back and he is A-OK. -okay. No injuries to report in the pro ranks. That's always a good thing. Love to keep it safe. Thanks for Tony for creating this place for West Coast guys to play. He's actually got a championship points fund. They will pay the top 10 at the end of the year. 
in Open Unlimited. Again, we'll be back in Fontana November 2nd through the 3rd. You know, I'll be having some fun out there on the Hayabusa. If you got a street bike, come join us. I'm a newbie. I'm a rookie. I'm out there. I got 25 laps the week before to test and tune and had a bunch of fun at this event, getting that motorcycle into the nines. We always like when you join us here on Cycle Drag. I hope you are subscribed to this Cycle Drag YouTube channel. Stay tuned because soon we're going to be putting on a Brock's Performance Pipe to the Hayabusa. And yes, this Shade Tree Mechanic Talking is going to try to do it himself. There's a lot of great resources online from Brock's Performance. So we'll keep you posted on that. We'll have the whole video up. If you have any friends who like fast motorcycles, I don't even care if they like drag bikes, or they like dirt bikes, anything, get them in here, get them commenting, we'll expose them to this. We got pro mod videos up, we got tons of videos of that man, the world's quickest motorcycle drag racer, Larry McBride, 561. Do you like the KZs or the new Z900 RS? We've got videos on those as well from some of the representatives from Kawasaki talking about how special those bikes are here on CycleDrag.com. Please subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Please like CycleDrag.com on Facebook and we will keep it coming. Let me know what you think. We're always looking to improve, always looking to grow, always looking to give you your two-wheel entertainment.